Like, you know, and I, I'm, every time I'm on a plane, every time I sit down in a plane, I have the same thought. I think, you know, what if it goes down? You know, like, what if it goes down? What am I going to do? And you know, guys, I thought about it so much that now, you know, maybe I'm not even worried because I know exactly what I'm going to do. You know, I know exactly who I'm going to message. You know, the, the love of my life, the one that got away, the girl I haven't seen in four years. And I know exactly what I'd message her, you know. I'd probably open with something casual, you know, like, something like, oh, I'm gonna die, I've always loved you! You know, just something casual. <laughs> I know, you know, I know I'd, I'd message my parents. I know what I'd message my parents. But they're, you know, they're very supportive, I'm sure they'd just be happy for me. You know? <laughs> but now, the real question is this, love. The real question is this, you have to ask yourself. So you're on the plane, and the pilot, he, you know, he turns on things, he says, like, there's nothing we can do, guys. Everyone just, you know, turn on your phones, it doesn't matter, you know, there's nothing we can do. Five minutes, we're all going to be gone. And the lad next to you is asleep. What do you do? Do you wake him up? Or do you let him, do you know, do you let him... That's it. <laughs> I'm waking him up. I'm waking him up. Because I know I want to be woken up in that situation. I want to be woken up. He's at peace. But no, I know I'd wake him up. I, I have a good way to do it as well, you know, I, I'd really, I'd really shock him away. I'd shake, I'd shake him. You know those, you know, those times when you get woken up and it's like you feel like a train hit you, you get shaken away. You're just like, oh god, I wish I was dead. You're like, oh, I got good news for you then. <laughs> you don't have to worry about a thing. It's all coming up to you. You can't judge anyone for anything. Nothing. I believe that, you know. You could take, you take the highest paid CEO in the world and you can take, you know, Jim the plumber from down the road from you. They're both experts in their own field. And that's, you know, like, that's not a joke at all. I, you know, I really believe that, you know, like, that CEO, he couldn't help you fix your sink. And like Jim the plumber, he couldn't help you dodge your taxes. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is just that, you know, like, you don't know better than anyone. You just know different. You know, like, we all have our own perspectives. You know, everyone comes from their own place. You know, it's like a homeless guy in a bus station once said to me. <laughs> Oh yeah, that one's for that one. You know, I've never, you know, I've never had a girlfriend, you know, like I, but you know, I, and I hate when, I hate when people on and, you know, keep paging, because, you know, like I, you know, I, I still had relationships, you know, they've never blossomed into that, but, you know, I still, you know, I've still been in love before and stuff, you know what I mean? Aww, right? The love of my life was French, actually. She still is, probably, I haven't seen her. <laughs> no, I always do French for that joke, and I never know why. Um, like, the truth is, you know, the love of my life, she's uh, she's English. She's an English girl. Which I know we just like, oh, you know. <laughs> Complete opposites, Irish and English would never work, you know. She's a big city girl. I'm a medium-sized city boy. It, it, what would the kids even look like, you know? It doesn't work, you know. They say opposites attract, though, you know, which I think is definitely true. For me, not so much for her. <laughs> but I am, um, you know, it's, you know, dating, dating's crazy. You know, I've I've been on Tinder dates and stuff, and I, uh, it's a weird thing. You know, you learn a bit too much about yourself. I was uh, I was on a Tinder date with a girl once, and uh, I was in the bar waiting for her to show up. And as I was waiting, I was, you know, I, I was looking through her profile again before she showed up. And uh, as I was looking. You know, I realized from the way she like angled her pictures and stuff that, um, you know, like, I didn't notice before, but you know, she might be really tall. I didn't notice how you know tall she might be. I didn't even think about that. And I was, I was going through pictures like, oh no, like, if she shows up and you know she's really tall, you know, it's, it's gonna be very awkward for both of us. You know, like, and I remember sitting there thinking, I was like, oh god, it's gonna be so awkward. Like, please don't be too tall. Please don't be too tall. Please don't be too tall. And then she didn't show up at all. So <laughs> it always works. Right? But no, and um. This, this next one, this next one's the sad one, guys. So <laughs> this next one's the sad one because uh, you know sometimes you go on these dates and you know you have a one night stand with your own, and that's you know brings with it its own you know its own things, that, its own baggage. And, you know, like it happened to me once. You know, I went I went on a date with a girl and we went for drinks and we you know it went horribly right. Like we you know we ended up back at her place and as we were you know we were kissing in her bed. And as we were, she she pulled away from me very suddenly. And I had no idea what was going on. And but I looked at her and I looked at her face and she was she had this terrible sorrowful look in her face. Like her eyes were nearly well up and I, I had no idea what was wrong and she just she looked me straight in the eyes and she just said to me, Will you still like me after we've had sex? And when I think of 
what she might have gone through in past relationships, in past dates, past you know one night stands, that would make her want to ask that question. When I think of what her perception of me might be, that would make her want to ask that question. It absolutely broke my heart. Because I didn't really like her to begin with, you know, she was really annoying. She was always asking stupid questions like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs>